Teams are split down the middle of this crowd. Let's get it started. Game two, our Den Forest S and D. Sniper out for John. Cap patrolling mid map with the STG. It's a nade from accuracy as the first blood. Accuracy gets a second as well. He's working on an early ace, but the snap there. Suddenly, Kenny is by himself in a one versus two. John and Cap making plays. Kenny trying to push towards Cap and Alley. Can he pick up one? He should be dead. Wow. That, that went from what looked very good, very good for TK early. Suddenly, a flurry of kills. For Composure. LP. Composure for the longtime teammates of J Cap and John. They've been together for probably the closer half of three years at this point. Yeah. The duo, there's a reason they sit next to each other. They've got the chemistry they need to make a play like that happen. LG strike first in game two. And that's big. I mean, I know it's one round, but coming off of a loss like that, getting a round under your belt has got to feel incredible right now if you're Luminosity, but stun out over the top, hits the armored player in theory, so he'll be unaffected trying to make a play. Spotting Octane for a moment, but Kenny can't finish it. He'll have bar out for this round. Octane just trying to see if he can tag up the weak theory and look at Chino. Are they ready for this? Did John just spot him? I, I don't believe so. John has no idea he's gotten here. <laughs> oh. uh, shaky, hey. shaky shots there, Chino. But ultimately, you got the kill. You made all your fans terrified. Now they, they just need to eliminate him before they can do anything. Look at look at how terrible the setup they have now. Accuracy is a fire tank. He's getting picked apart. You've got Slack behind one. Chino trying to play his life. He'll challenge another. He will finally go down, but the damage has been done, Maven. A minute wasted in this round, and they're at a number disadvantage as well. Exactly. I was about to follow that up with the damage has been to the clock, right? I mean, yeah. All that time that has gone by, Octane and Slack now in desperation mode. And now they just set up and watch every lane. Look, you've got Accuracy holding A. Mid Ruins is being watched, as well as back B. 18 seconds left. This round should be over. And Octane took so much damage before he could even get anyone in his sight. There's textbook TK. Nice flank from Chino. I think John was in charge of watching that flank, but like he went to peak middle for a brief moment, and in that brief moment, Chino like crossed the five steps he needed. How good is Chino at playing A? It's like whether he's locking down A or hitting that flank, I feel like he's always making plays on this map. It's, it's why they can basically trust him to solo hold that site. Yes, accuracy plays nearby and middle on defense, but we talked about this so many times. Chino knows just how much he can get away with behind that. A cabin cover. He knows when to flank, just like that. Chino going to toss a nade over mid. He is going to connect, and that's the pressure to go. You see the assist. Plan play, and it leads to a kill for Kenny. Slack, though, able to trade. Chino tagging up. Cap, nice jump shot there. Oh, come on. Cap's a bit flustered after that. That's I think. not even fair. <laughs> Chino, accuracy, and Kenny, three versus two. They know, I think they know they have Slack pinned at this pillar. They're just waiting for the help from middle map. There we go. Easy pickings for Kenny. John out by himself with a Cypher, and he is dropped. Back to back rounds for TK, who happen to also be looking for back to back champs if they can close out LG. I didn't even think about this, Maven. We talk about how that was the first series in that first best of five of the grand finals that TK has ever lost on land in Call of Duty World War II. And their first map after to recover is that 252.49. <laughs> Talk about composure. Yeah, these guys are going to bed after this. Oh, 100%. <laughs> they are not celebrating here in the world. <laughs> LG now. Back to offense, trailing by a round. Three hitting up mid. You saw a stun and nade come out. Theory's now got up into you. See, accuracy what, what, watching why? across. Why, why did they just try that? Accuracy plays that same position every single round. They need to either smoke him out or stun him if they ever want to attempt something like that. They may be outmatched on this particular map. 4-3 advantage now for Team Caliber. Can we quickly swap over to Accuracy for a brief moment? Yeah, look, he, he's running his armored scope class. His only goal is to eat whatever's thrown at him and just hold the middle lane with an FG-42. Yeah. He basically moves around a circle with a diameter of 10 feet and just locks it down. But Bomb is down mid-map in a very scary position because that was Slack, the first player to drop. John pushes forward, though, picks up one cabin cut, snapping back to you, Theory. Good job getting away with his life, but you're still in a 2v3. Not a whole lot of time to work with, and John getting tagged up from behind. Bomb this, still this in This is their mid. chance. This is their chance now that John's actually crossed. Fortunately, though, J-Cap now dead. John by himself, 20 seconds left. There's no way he can grab that bomb and plant. Chino. Wow. He's dead. Chino at A. Chino at A. 
It's like an impenetrable wall over there. Just seems like he's always... Who was he playing? He played someone like a fiddle the other night. I think it might have been Echo Fox. But just watching him when he's set up in that position, man. He makes it look so easy. Never panics. Always composed. Always in the right position. Rarely misses, unlike that flank where he did miss quite a lot. <laughs> Still got the first blood. <laughs> Everyone on TK with the first blood so far this map. Zero in total for LG. All right, now let's see what TK can do when they're pushing towards A. There's nobody there. Nades aren't going to connect with anything. It's a mid and B stack right now. Jcap will be first blooded. The A site is given up for free right now to, Lumina uh, to TK. Oh, accuracy. They're finding some kills on a, the retake. They haven't even really tried it yet. Oh, they're just going for it. They, they think he's going to be planned. They want to overwhelm him while he can't, doesn't have gun up. It's one player all by himself. Nice retake from LG. What made that possible was that second kill from Octane. Once accuracy's dead, they no longer have to worry about that AR watching that choke point, and that lets them just flood right on into the middle. Yeah, I thought that, I mean, once TK got through with little to no resistance and got that first blood, I thought that was going to be an easy round for them to lock down. But like you said, that big kill from Octane, they make that retake look easy. And LG staying alive in this search and destroy. But still, 3-2 advantage right now for TK. <sighs> LG moving towards B this time. And still, it's, it, this is the standard setup from TK. They don't change anything. They're that confident in it. They know when to use their nades. They know what they need to watch out for. Look at that. How tough of a shot is that with a sniper on accuracy who's got the FG-42? Accuracy. Accuracy able to hit him and back him down. Jcap with another first blood to his name. Ooh, every time John peeks, Accuracy's got a bullet ready to greet him pretty much instantly. Kenny gets this kill on B, they have a chance. I'm wondering, do they just try to overwhelm him? Look at Chino again. Oh my gosh! There's a plethora of hit markers there. Both players stay alive. <laughs> He's like, accuracy's not in my position anymore? All right, I can, yeah, I can go right? find a kill. Right? It's, it's incredible what he does. He almost kills him, though, as he gets back to the cross. Four versus two. Chino and accuracy trying to make a play. Now just on accuracy. John being planted now. He's fucked. Can he get a reverse slide? Oh, gets planted, though. John, very, very weak. One versus two. Accuracy's trying to run forward. Not able to get it done. If he kills him a second before that bomb gets planted, maybe an opportunity there to back up, make a play. But... They just, I think Slack just gets that bomb down. Whew. A long, long round right there. You could see the hesitation from LG even after getting that first pick at B. There's, a, there's, they typically, they'd want to like overwhelm it before we want it, but like with Kenny there with accuracy in middle with Chino probably lurking, it, it, they're not playing as, as aggressive as you'd think they would. Well, last time we saw an attempted hit towards A for TK that fell short. It was dismantled by the retake from LG. This time it's a B hit. Look at that number six Oct and eight on the map. They're, they're starting to push up. Chino's got to pick up the flank here. They know this is coming. They know this is coming. Chino's there. He at least weakens him. Uh, does he catch that though? Nope. First four rounds were four first bloods for TK. Now it's LG with a couple on the board. 4v2. Kenny should be potentially picked up there. Inching forward is Octane. He's got power position. These are easy pickets for him, but Chino able to pick off his head. The flank does come through. Another round for <laughs> LG. And this is I, I, this is must-win map. The LG's got to win this map. What a crazy grand final that would be if this is where they, <laughs> if they lose Arden Forest, they lose their first series, or heck, even maybe their second series. Oh, just, it's been an uphill battle for LG, but they continue to claw tooth and nail to try and upset TK in this grand final. Will John be our Astro Gaming MVP if they wind up winning this weekend? M, Octane, heck, J JCAP's been Cap, spectacular. I, they, they've all, you they've could, all. You could name every person in this lobby. You talk about how long Ooh. these rounds have been. Kenny. That's not right. Kenny spots you. John eliminated early. Scoped becoming the meta more and more on these ARs for moments like that. Helps you to stay as accurate as possible. JCAP. Being pushed back, Octane getting weakened. Jcap does uh, even the odds, three to three. I mean, Kenny, knowing all three players are there, that's that's an aggressive peak. I know it's an easy kill at times to pick him off that back cover, but when there's three players looking at you, you kind of give up that first blood that you just earned for your team. And now as Slack and company flood on through, 
I don't know how I feel about the continued pressure from Kinney. I know he wants to hold him back, but as he drops, he quickly turns in. Now to a two versus one. Chino has to make a play. He spots Octane up top. Nice shots there to oh. peel Octane off a of cover. That is such a tough kill. Slack has two kills already this round. I believe both players are loud. Oh, yeah, they are. It's everyone hunker. How does Slack play it from here? Chino with the bar. And this could be a big kill for Slack as well. He was getting rather close to streaks here if he's able to make this play. Chino starting to inch his way forward. 30 seconds on the clock. Slack starting to wrap back. This is all going to be on timing. Chino spots him, gets the shots in, able to tag him up, but can't finish the kill. Slack just playing his life. He's expecting him to try to run away, right? And now Slack will fall back in towards middle map. He's trying to hold that mid lane push. 10 seconds remaining. He flies forward. Chino gets off the bomb, doesn't actually defuse it. I'm wondering if he was worried about thinking he heard something middle lane and thought that that was him getting flanked because Slack was so loud. You know we can hear him with his headset cranked up. If he stuck it right away, I, I don't know if he would have had it, but had him close. Okay. Had he hopped on that right away when he back slacked down. I think, he, I think he would have had it. Wow. Some tense rounds here. He could have just faked the bomb too. Can we check uh, Slack real quick? How close is he to streak? Ooh. Okay, so very, very close here. It's looking like a 1-1 one -one series, Maven. LG keep this up. Shots coming in, Slack dead to the hands of accuracy. TK with control of the B site. No streaks for Slack either. Oh, that's, that's actually the key point. Nice. So as he gets cut down, accuracy finds the two opening kills, two remaining from Luminosity. TK don't want to go away yet, but a win there and fire cut for JCap keeps the dreams of Luminosity Ooh. alive. John. <laughs> I love the crowd. Yeah. You, you, you could all just see, they know how important that would be if they could pick him off that power position. Unfortunately, no one trying to peek the sniper rifle. John found an STG to work with, tries to push up, not able to win it. JCap weak in mid map and with 20 seconds on the clock. Inaccuracy having the high ground, not much he can do at all. He will drop. TK inching back into this one. And yeah, that first blood, that was accuracy. I think he got the first two kills actually, but the first one on Slack, he's what, 75 off of streaks coming into that? Falls just a little bit short. I mean, that, that's the type of, if he has a drop there, maybe you have a chance to just close the game out with those streaks. Now, not an opportunity. TK, once again, just do not go away. Oh. What do they do here? Do they change anything up? Typically they don't, typically it's... Okay, so they will actually. Kenny with the sniper now. He's expecting J-Cap to go. Oh my oh. God! He gets up there if he held that for another second. So they'll play this differently now at B. I'm wondering, do we see Theory cut in towards mid ruins? Looks like he will, two nades come out, nothing on the Theory. Kenny's watching with the sniper. He's got to hit something. He's absolutely got to hit something. He does! First blood! <gasps> Whiffs the second. He knows Octane's in the back. He'll go ahead and nade him on out. Doesn't actually hit, though. Four versus three. The last time Kenny was in this position, he peeked up top and got cut down. Now he's sniping everything. Two to his name. But Octane will clean it up. Theory. Weak here, playing at the pillar. He sees both. They've got him pinned. So now all they need to do is just hold. 40 seconds left, just hold. All they need to do. Theory cannot die. Chino's got all the way to back bunker, trying to reposition to get an angle on this. They have to know the flank is coming soon. May not matter. As Chino's the one, or Theory's the one making the plays. The flank now coming through. Octane stuck between a rock and a hard place. I think he's one kill off streaks as well. Oh my god. I'm, uh, oh man. We'll have to see who gets defense. If this series wasn't close enough after map one, we're now going to a round 11. 250, 249, and now a round 11. It's just like you have to pick TK in this. They're the ones that continue to clutch up. Remember, LG has not lost a game five. Obviously, the same is true for, for Team Caliber. Neither team has dropped a game five. 75 points away. Accuracy going back to his spot middle. Look at the scoreboard, and no one really having a terrible map. Can't put the blame on anyone here. The crowd splitting their chance. I want this to go the distance so bad. Like you said, very close to Streaks' theory. Kenny, the sniper worked. You might as well do it again. 30 seconds off the clock already. Still has a nade to work with. John getting ready to peek this corner. So nervous about the sniper. This could be the opening. This could be the opening. This could be the opening. Bye-bye, Octane! 
Kenny with the first blood, gets needed almost immediately. Theory wins streaks. 4v2 and has streaks to work with. Slack and John in a whole lot of trouble here in round 11. The streak comes in. I don't think he sees anyone. Theory dies in the middle of that. Theory actually dies calling in the streak. That's why he lost control. 27 seconds remaining. John with the sniper. They have control of the B site. They should be able to get this bomb planted. It will be a retake. No streaks. Just comes down to pure gunfights. Here we go. Here we go. Two versus three for Luminosity. They have the bomb planted. TK heading up the map as a flock. There we go. This is it, folks. Who will take game two? 24 seconds left. Kenny about to peek the corner. He's got the SCG. John with the sniper makes it a two on two. They've got to go. They cannot wait. With the shot, accuracy evens it out. 13 seconds left. Slack trying to hold the corner. Someone's got to defuse the bomb. They don't check the right side. They don't check the right side. And that's a map victory, evening out the series. And that's a 2v4, buddy. A 2v4 for Slack and John. Gut-wrenching loss there for TK. So it's, you get a crazy clutch from Team Caliber in game one. LG's like, all right, we can do it too. The round 11 victory. And I mentioned that game five stat. You know this is going five games. It's going five games. The closest hard point I've casted in Call of Duty World War II.